Hello, everyone. We are making our way through Search for a Nonviolent Future. On uh, page 83, I referred to the discovery of x-rays. I want to be a little bit more precise about that now. Uh, you might remember the state. Almost the end of the 19th century, December 28th, 1898, two events happened on that day. Uh, which are quite significant for our civilization. One is that uh, Wilhelm Röntgen, who had uh, accidentally discovered x-rays, gave a report on them to a, a physics society in uh, Germany, and this is widely regarded as the beginning of the atomic age. Uh, the other event was, for the first time in history, a film was shown in public in Paris. So you had the, the, the launching of the atomic age and the launching of modern mass media happening on exactly the same day, right at the end of the 19th century. Very, very portentous changes. I've even recently argued at the UN, as a matter of fact, that the film one was more significant because the tremendous impact of mass media on a human consciousness on human culture is what determines how we will use that power that was uh, developed in, out in the outside world. And you know, uh, Robert Oppenheimer said one time that the purpose of science is to take the powers of nature and put them at the disposal of the human will. And it's kind of a typical mistake in our civilization. We don't ask ourselves what human will. Is it the will for violence or the will for nonviolence? Now that incredible power that we've discovered in the outside world is not going to go away. But we need to discover that incredible power in the inside world in order to use it appropriately. And that's why I ended the chapter on page 86 with this marvelous quote from Gandhi where he says, it's not that I am not incapable of anger, but I have learned the supreme lesson of harnessing my anger. See, not, not suppressing it, harnessing it, because it's a form, he regards it as a form of energy, which it is, internal energy. And he makes this marvelous testimonial that the struggle, which is going on inside of him all the time, gives him a delight uh, a, a participation in the process of nature, I'm paraphrasing, which uh, he has no power to describe. And Gandhi had pretty good powers of describing things. So if he's talking about a mental state which is beyond his power to describe, you can see how incredibly rewarding and how much of a, a breakout, a relief it must be for the individual human being to find a way to harness those negative energies in constructive action. Okay, well, thank you very much. This is, uh, that's it for our session today. So until next time, carry on the experiment. I look forward to talking to you again soon.